In example 19, it needs us to find the y-intercept of the following function. So if you're looking for a y-intercept, that means x would be 0. So I'm going to plug in a 0 to every x value. Now f of x is just like saying y. I'm going to have the absolute value, 3, my x value is 0 for the y-intercept, minus 2, absolute value, minus 6. So as we solve this out now, we have 3 times 0, which is 0. So now we have y equals absolute value, this is still a negative 2, minus 6. Absolute value changes any number inside of it to a positive. So we have absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2, minus 6. So my y-intercept for this example would be 2 minus 6, which is negative 4. So as a point, I would write it 0 for my x value and negative 4 as my y value.